I want to talk to us very briefly on the reign of God. R-O-E-I-G-N, the reign, the dominion of God has come. Beloved, listen to me. I am not missing words. This is the era when the true sons of God must take their place. God speaking through the mouth of his son, Jesus, tells us in John chapter 10, verses 34 and 35. Hmm. Those do, who receive the word of God, God called them gods. To those that received the word, to those whom his word came, God called them gods. When men received the word, there was a transmutation that resulted in a translation that mortality got swallowed up of immortality and a new reemergence occurred which erupted in God's after God's class and in God's class. Beloved, hear me. The word of God is God in manifestation. If you receive it by revelation, you can be stopped by any force from dominating anywhere you are. God has given us his word to change us from men into gods. And until you receive that word, you will remain who you are, even now. But when this word enters you, God changes you. You know what I see? A change is coming your way that will unveil the you that God wants the world to see from this day forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 1. I read verse, verses 4, 5, 6, and 8, and 18. Revelation chapter 1 from verse 4. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is, who was, and who is to come and from the seven spirits who were before him. This church called the church which are in Asia is talking about the church which is upon the earth. That's it. It's where you are. If you are in Afghanistan and you are part of the body of Christ, he's writing to you right where you are. If you are in Nigeria, if you are in the United States of America, if you are in Ukraine, if you are in Indonesia, anywhere you are in Australia, he's referring to, he's talking to you. This word is coming to you everyone who is called out from the world. We are called the redeemed of the Lord. We have been redeemed from the power of darkness. Hmm. We have been delivered from the power of darkness from the hand of the enemy. And he has brought us back to our God. And we are to reign on this world, in this world, on this earth, as kings and priests. That's why this world is coming your way. Now listen to me. He says to us, this world is coming. This word is coming from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. Take note the word again, the firstborn. He's not the only born, he's not the last born. I came after him. You may come after me, or you came after before me. Whichever. After Christ, you came, I came, whichever we came. Listen, this word is to us. It's from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness who can never lie. He is the witness. In other words, he came to witness unto God. <laughs> Christ came to talk about God. And he talked about God by his life. The things which Jesus began both to do and to teach. Before he talked about God with his words, he talked about God with his life. My prayer as you hear this one is that you will begin to talk about God with your life. That's what it means to reign. You talk about God with your life. <laughs> and then with your words. When men come here and say, what is happening to you? You say, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. Jesus began both to do before he began to teach. Acts chapter 1 verse 1. Acts chapter 1 and verse 1. The things which Jesus began both to do and to teach. He did it. He taught it. Now his life spoke for God. He was a true and faithful, unchanging, unwavering witness. He testified of God. He testified of heaven. He testified of the reality that today there is heaven on earth. 
for all who are eager to enter. The kingdom of heaven is preached and every man presseth in. Luke chapter number 16, number 16. Right from the days of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of heaven is preached. Is preached. It's been suffering violence. But by the preaching, men are pressing and taking back what is just by force. Listen to me. We are to be true and faithful witness as Christ was. That is what it means to reign. And I want to say as this word is coming, you are going to emerge in command, reigning over all where you are placed in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to the word. This word is coming from Jesus, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. And the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins when we were dead in sins and trespasses. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. We were dead as Christ was dead and rose from the dead. We were dead and we also rose from the dead. So we are to become true and faithful witnesses of Christ Jesus in the now. He washed us from our sins in his own blood, and he has made us, having washed us, kings and priests, to his God and Father, to him be glory forever and ever. Question, why did he make us kings and priests? Ephesians chapter, no, Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. And he has made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. What does it mean to reign? To reign means to exercise lordship. <laughs> to reign means to exercise total control over. Over every force in your domain and territory. When you are reigning, you are absolutely in command. What you say is final. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4. Wherever the word of a king is, there is power. When the king says it, he goes back to rest. What he says must be done. Hallelujah. So when we talk about reigning, we reign by what we say. But I'm saying to you, first of all, we must reign by our lives. That's why Christ was the faithful witness. He witnessed unto the reality that he has come as God in the flesh to manifest God for all to see in the flesh. And that is what we are here to do. John chapter 14 and verse 12, Christ said, Verily, verily I say unto you, whoever believes in me, the same works I do shall he do also, and greater works than this shall he also do. Not in quality, no, but in quantity shall he do also, because I go to the Father. Christ left the scene to pave way for us, to create room for us so that we can do what he did. What am I saying? We have become redeemed, washed from our sins. We have been restored to the same righteousness and holiness of God, which was what Adam had in the beginning that empowered them to live like God. Adam lost it and he lost out. Adam lost righteousness and true holiness and he lost out. When we lose righteousness and true holiness, we lose out. But when we are restored because we are washed, we are restored to duplicate God in our lives, with our lives, and by what we say. Listen to me. This word is coming. I'm going to come again, but listen to me. This word is coming because something new must burst forth from within you. The world is tired of waiting. The endless expectation of the Creator, they have been waiting, traveling, and crawling together in pain until this present hour. Why? They are waiting for God's sons and people who have come to know who they are, who are matured by their understanding. They will be trained and they are able to exercise themselves unto all godliness. They are waiting for us to arrive. And I'm saying to you, time has come for us to arrive. We must see them before they die. Please, wake up. Wake up. You are to reign. I am to reign. But it takes our understanding that we've been washed. We've been made to be like Christ. For he's the firstborn, firstborn, firstborn. We came after him. We are meant to reign like him. May God help you to see what he's bringing our way now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.